Hello ladies, welcome back to another episode of Truth Talk. In this episode we're going to wrap up the discussion we had concerning Psalm 91. Where we took it over the last three episodes and this is going to be the fourth one. We just went into a real discussion about what Psalm 91 means and what it means to abide within the secret place. And the message that came across throughout the, 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 the teachings is that we need to draw back unto the Father. We need to mm. draw back unto our first love because in that place He will teach us. He will lead us. He will correct us. He will, he will protect us. He will provide for us out of that place. So the heart of this is to truly just get you back to a place of abiding in Him. Amen. Of getting to know Him all over again for who He, for who he really is. So we're going to get right into the Word. But before that, I just want to say welcome Thank to my you. very special friends for being here with me and just enjoying this time in the Word with me. Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Linda. It's nice to be back, Linda. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> so we're going to get right into the Word. I'm going to start with uh, from um, verse 9. So we've, we've, we've read, I'm actually going to start from verse 8 again. We've read that when you are dwelling within the secret place, you're not just accessing it. You will come to a place where you truly trust God. We will protect you. He will take care of you. And within that, covering like Bianca said last week, like a chicken, a mommy chicken um, protecting her, her little babies, that is the place we want to dwell in. But in that place, God will still train us. He will still mm -hmm. correct us. Mm -hmm. There will still things, there will still, temptations will still approach us. But we're going to then have to make the decision, are we going to hide under his wings or are we going to step out into the temptation and then give in to the temptation which will lead to destruction. So from verse 8 it says, Only a spectator you shall be in the inaccessible secret place of the Most High as you witness the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your dwelling place. Because of that, because you chose to make him your refuge, because you chose to make him your dwelling place, there shall no evil before you, befall you, nor any plague or calamity come near your tent. For he will give his angels a special charge over you to accompany and defend and preserve you in all your ways of obedience and of service. They shall bear you up on their hands, lest you dash your foot against the stone. And before we carry on, I just want to hear your hearts concerning that peace. That so many times people feel that angels are something there far in the distance. We don't speak about them. We don't. But it's real. They are real. And in this scripture it says that when we abide in the secret place and we get to know the heartbeat of God, that angels will become a reality in our lives because He gives them charge mm. over us. Yeah. Pastor Cora? Yes, I think uh, we are in a time where angels are getting a little bit more attention. Yes. But sometimes for the wrong reasons. Yes, that's because true. they react upon what God says. The word upon the, what the word says mm. and for our protection mm. ministering mm. angels and mm. and that but these days sometimes you get people who actually worship the yes. angels mm. yes. so mm. it's mm. you get the two extremes mm. where people don't acknowledge mm. it and people acknowledge it too mm. much but i know for a fact that we all have god yeah. in we do yeah. you like your position yeah. that you spoke yes. about last last time mm. We have our guardian yes. angels, yes. and um, but we need to get the order right. Yes. God is also, all, our Father God is always up there. Mm. He sends mm. them. Mm. They are mm. not to be yeah. worshipped. That's what yes. the word says here. Mm. He shall give his mm. angels He's charge exactly over you. Yes. He shall give his angels charge Church. over yeah. you. Yes. So he will give them charge over mm. you. And how do they react on the words that we speak out of the word of God? Yeah. When we confess the word, they react on those words yes. and he gives them charge over us to bring it into fulfillment. Yes. Exactly. So we cannot worship angels. In the word, if you read, when an angel appeared before someone, the people would fall to their knees mm. and because of the presence. And yes. then the angels would say, yes. get up, don't worship me. Yes. Mm. So we must always have that in the secret place abiding with God and out of that place he will give his angels charge yeah. over you. Mm. Chantal, yes. like you explained just now when they didn't break into your place, mm. who protected you? The God angels are fighting. Angels charge over me. And, and when we were done I thought about it I said to myself I only spectated yes. what has happened yes. around me. Yes. Yeah, but the word of God is mm. solid. It's really truth mm. and you can really take it mm. on. And uh, again you just said that for he will give his, 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 mm. that's the key yes. word for me, his, his. angels. 
and if there was no angels yeah. what is in the holy of holies yes. why is there angels yes. covering oh, the Rebbe. mercy seat yeah. come yes. on yes. so yes. angels are are as definitely a reality mm -hmm. but one thing that Karen pastor Karen just mm -hmm. said very correctly mm -hmm. and I agree with you we sometimes nowadays lose focus That's of true. who is in charge of the angels and serve the angels. That's yes. true. Mm. Yes. Angels can't do anything that That's they have true. not been that they have not got instruction of. Mm. Mm. We were we were once at a meeting uh, with uh, various Christians and they actually have an angel ministry. Uh, they really? profess to be Christians. Yes, sure. they do. But they have an angel, so they 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 worship Raphael and no, all that. You can't and I'm, I Jesus. know I know there's so much we don't know. Yeah. Um, but I am just very grateful that I know that mm. this is true, that yes. he does give his yes. angels charge yes. over us. And that we must always just keep our eyes focused on Jesus Christ. Yes. We yeah. worship him and him alone. Mm. And I must mm. say, as a caution for people, if you want to know, is it a real angel, is it not, is it a... If, if, if they allow you, should you be able to see in the spirit or see angels, if they allow you to worship you, then you must know it's actually a demon yes. coming mm. in, the, in, in, the, in an armor of light. As light. Because a true messenger of God will not allow you throughout the word you read him. that mm. throughout the word you read that mm. they will not allow you to worship yes. to worship him because I will always tell you you yes. do not worship me you worship the king of kings Amen. the lord of lords yeah. and that is in he gives his angels charge yeah, over us yeah. so yes we need to be awakened to the reality of them being there to assist us and being messengers from god to mm. us but it will always 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 come back to the word yes it Amen. will always come back to that mm. and they will always just mm. pull us and reflect us back unto the father back unto jesus christ mm. lead us back unto mm. him mm. direct our paths lead us yes. back to him mm. so yes bianca well, you know what, Linda? You must worship the Creator, not the creation. Yes. Mm. So it's yeah. always the focus on God. But I can also just think of a specific instance at our house where um, there was like a long stick in the driveway in the corner just outside our gate. And I took it away. And the next night it was there again. And I took it away. And then we had Sal at your place. Mm -hmm. And you said to me, we, when I walked in, we are completely, you just see, we are completely covered with the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. our whole family, our house and everything. And that specific night, um, I went to bed and the Holy Spirit woke me up and I started praying and I just prayed and prayed and but I prayed in the Spirit. Mm. And the next day, my little daughter came to me, she said, Celeste, she said, Mommy, I had a dream that tried to break into our house and you helped us. Mm. And then the neighbors next door came and said, listen, they broke in at mm. two houses that they break in. And I said, no. Mm because God gave his, his angels, angels charge. charge. And a lot of times I will just stand on Psalm 91 mm. and I'll just pray Psalm 91. Mm. Thank you God that you give your angels charge. Yes. And that is what we should do. We must take the word as we've been doing it with yeah. Psalm 91. Yeah. Study it, break, study it, mm. break it up. Um, ask God to teach you, um, show you, lead you, guide you, but take the word of God and, and learn from there. Yeah. Be teachable from the word of God. Mm. Because in this, only in this one passage, if we carry on, it covers so much. Psalm 91 covers so much. Yeah. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent. You shall, you shall trample underfoot. Mm. So what is God saying here? When you are hidden in him, mm. he gives you the authority, authority to trample yes. on the enemy. Because mm. why? Is it Chantal trampling on the enemy? Or is it Chantal within Jesus Christ, his feet, his arms, his hands, his eyes, trampling the enemy? Yeah. Because you're hidden in him. Then I just want to make a point of something here. Verse 11, for he will give his angels especially yes. <coughs> charge over you to accompany and defend and preserve you, yes. listen to this, in all your ways, yeah. listen to this, of yeah. obedience yeah. and service. Yes. So God cannot give angels charge when you are disobedient. Yes, yes. He will never give mm. his angels charge if you are outside yes. of his will, yeah. doing yes. your own thing and accomplishing mm. your mm. own thing. Then there mm. will be no angel to charge over, to watch yeah. over you. Yes. It's once you are in his perfect will, yes. in the secret place, you are covered and you are sheltered mm. and he is your refuge mm. and your strength. Yeah. When you are in him, he will protect you. Exactly. It's very, very simple. In your obedience, he will he will protect you. And something that I want to say, and I, and I always pray this on a Wednesday evening, not always, but many times I say this to the to the to the church when I lead the prayer meeting. 
in my understanding is I not only ask God to give my angels or in this case when I pray this I say mm. God give my angels charge over 2021 Amen. charge them over 2022 yes. charge them over 2030 because yes. I don't know what the enemy is planning mm. what adder and what scorpion yes. and, and whatever what is lying ahead mm. of me yeah. so I ask mm. God to dispatch him years ahead of yes. my time Amen. we have yes. that power yes. in Amen. us activated mm. yes. and if you don't pray it yeah Nothing. Nothing's going to happen Nothing because gonna we happen. activate the angels through our yes. prayers according to the Come word on. of God. And while we're speaking, I got this image to explain it simple that if you are a child of God, but today your friends tempt you to go and steal something yeah. and they shoot you outside the door. Was it that God's angels didn't protect you or were you disobedient because you were partaking you in darkness? You were partaking mm. in it's evil. Consequences. It's yeah. a consequence mm. to your, to your action of disobedience. To, to your disobedience. Yes. So they are there continuously to, to accompany us, to defend us, to preserve us and to protect us. Yes. On God's command yes. within the obedience of our service unto Him. And that's what the word says. Amen. They are there continuously. So we need to become aware of that. Because then if God should come and He tells you, Chantal or Bianca, I want you to go to... Now I'm going to tell Chantal this one. I want you to go into Kenya and have a... Because we spoke about it just before the time. Have a million people evangelist conference yeah and you say no lord but there's a war there what is it going to he will protect you because yes. you are the obedience to his yes. service yes. he will protect you he will yes. send his angels out before you to accomplish what he has called you to do and look at this and, and i just had this this in my mind one day i was flying from london to italy and man oh man did that plane hit turbulence mm. I sat there and I said to myself, this plane yes. will not fall. I mean, yes. never. Yes. And everybody in this plane are secured because of me. I yes. mean, yes, that's what the word says. The word says yes. it. What did he say? Let me look at this, verse 11. For he will give his angels, especially mm. charge over you to mm. accompany you. Mm. Which means if you are in a plane mm. and the devil is sending mm. something to attack that plane. It fall. God will sustain it because you've got, yes. there's somebody that's marked for destiny. Amen. Amen. Ooh. Yes. Amen. Give Amen. his angels. And that, uh, when we started <laughs> the discussion, mm. you asked me, what does the secret place mean? Yes. That's exactly what that's it is. That. Yes. That's the secret that's place. That's exactly that. Yes. That is it. People's lives, which you don't even know, are secured when you are present, when you are in the, when you are in yeah. the secret place. People around you are secured, even people that doesn't want to serve God. Mm. Calamity will not even strike them yes. when you are in a building yes. because yes. you're, because God gave angels charge to accompany mm. you. So when mm. you are in the shopping mall, you better know that bomb is not going to go off. So when you are in the shopping mall and you're hidden in the secret place, who's in the shopping mall? Jesus is in the shopping mall. mall. Yes. And our Father, because He says, I'm in you, you and me, and together we're in the Father. And no destruction or sickness or death or whatever yeah. can, can, come, can come close to the Father. Yes. Linda, can I just say this? Because I feel in my spirit to say this. This is for people that, because this program is right around the world. Yes. So you may say, yes, but Chantal, but this and that happened mm -hmm. to me. Can I tell you something? In my heart, what I feel really strong to say to somebody now. We have levels in God. Mm, yes. And just as Linda said last week or the week before, I trust God for bread today, mm, yes. but you mm. are in a level where yeah. you trust God for billions. Yes. Yes. So you are past the bread stage. Yes. Mm. But I was at the bread stage. But you, but you had to pass the, the beginning. Yes. You had to pass the bread stage mm. to get to the yes. billion stage. Yeah. Glory goes to glory. Yes. We start from one place to, and we grow and we mm -hmm. grow and we grow mm. in God. Mm. So why did something maybe happen to you? But you feel mm. in your heart, I don't know, I'm not settled in this. Mm. Maybe you think you trust God. Yes. That's another side yes. to the story. Mm. I think I trust God until I go, I throw in my, my net and then I think, no, God is taking too long to let the fish, fish mm -hmm. uh, let's jump in. Let's yes. jump in and get the fish. Yeah. Ourselves. Myself. Yeah. So in mm. all of this, mm. how deep is my trust? Amen. You yes. cannot be in the doorway and say mm. you're in the secret place. Mm -hmm. A secret place is in the back. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Not, not in yeah. front here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You've got to close the door behind you and you've got to get yeah. into mm. the secret. Yes. It's a hiding place. Yes. Yeah. So if you say, but yes, and the, let me, this is just what I really feel to say mm. for somebody. God will keep true to his word. Yes. He promised you that nothing will touch you by night 
or by day yes. nothing once you've been and dwell in the secret place. Yes. That is not a statement that God makes for yeah. you to see it's gonna, uh -uh. this is a promise that mm. he makes unto you. Mm. Number one, he's a promise maker, mm. but he's, he knows how to keep promises for a thousand generations. Mm. So yeah. I wanna say to somebody today, but yes, the bomb exploded in our shopping mall. You know what? Are you trusting God really? Mm. Are you really in the place where you say, God, I don't understand this, but I'm trusting you to give, because sometimes God never give us the revelation yes. of what you went through in this lifetime. Yes. Yes. That's true. Because it's never for us to figure mm. it out. And sometimes when our human ability kicks in, I want to figure out why did mm. my parents get divorced? Mm. Mm. Why did my husband pass away when we just four years married? Mm. I want to try and figure it out. You know what? Trust God unconditional yes. even if nothing makes yes. sense yes. in your life yeah. and this is when I go back to what I said last week I fall back yes. into and his presence yes. because he's God over everything yes. and I remember when my mom died um, she committed suicide and when she died I never questioned him that's just something in in my relationship with, with him, him I never questioned him I'll never why did God do this why because I know it's not him and that night I just sat on the bed and I prayed and I said Lord you need to explain to me because I know that you loved you. And you know what he said to me? He said to me, I am God even over death. Mm. I am Which God even true. over Which death. Is true. He's God. And that is the thing that we need to get back to what you are saying. We need to put back God back into his rightful position. He yes. is the creator of the universe. Yes. He blew his breath over the earth and the earth was created. We give the enemy so much credit. Yes. And we don't give the God, the God who created this earth, our Father, the credit that is even God over death. Yeah. He knows. He's the one that knows why did that happen. We, we will not understand what goes on in a person's heart. We will not understand if we think of um, when God uh, uh, destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He could only find one righteous man. Yes. And he didn't de destroy the place until that righteous man was removed. Was exactly what you mm. said. Mm. So we don't understand the things of God because he is almighty Amen. he's powerful so just draw back to him that's the safest place that you can be yes that's it's where by it him. starts it it's all starts in there. the <laughs> secret place mm. bianca i don't know linda just really all i can just think of when you are speaking like this mm. is just be so close to him that you yes. can hear his heart Amen. Yes. because if you hear his heartbeat mm. your heart will be in tune with his mm. heart and you'll be moving yes. like one. Yes. You will be his hands and feet mm. on earth. And yeah. maybe if you if you go into a more dangerous place, mm. Mm. if you hear his heartbeat and the whisper of his voice, you, tell you. you will maybe turn around mm. and not yes. go there. Yes. 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 You will. So you, you will, will. Yeah, yeah, you will. But I'm I'm just saying if you yeah. if you are open to hear, he will protect you. He yes. might let it not happen at all. Or he might tell you, mm. turn around, it's dangerous. Mm. So that is, it's, it's yeah. amazing, but that's what we're saying. Yeah. Just if draw back our ears him. are close to his heart, mm. we will hear the whisper of If his we heart. think of, I'm thinking of the Twin Towers incident. Yeah. How mm. many people afterwards testified that God instructed them not that's to true. go to work exactly. that day? That's true. And the exactly. other day I said to somebody, I said, Who's your, yes, we respect our bosses. Yes, I mean, I've got people working for me, and if they're disrespectful, but... If you wake up in the morning and God tells you, don't go to work today, do you fear God more or do you fear your mm -hmm. boss more? Mm -hmm. So to dwell in the secret place and now you decide, no, what's my boss going to think and I go to work and you're in a car accident. God, why did you allow that? But it's God told God. you not to go. So to be in the secret place, exactly what you said, it, it's, it's going to cost you. Mm -hmm. yes. it, and what yeah. it's going to cost you is your ways of doing things yeah. it's going to cost you your stubbornness it's going to cost you to, where you are disobedient to become obedient Amen. it's going to cost you to spend time in the word to get to know his voice to uh, obey in the end mm. in the end what it's going to cost you is to obey yes. yeah and i yeah. think it's also you know to live in, in intentionally yes. mm. to be present in the moment and not yeah. to be so rushed that you rush yeah. out from under yeah. under, under his warning mm. signs mm. and it's also something about relationships yes, that's yes. true it's about recognizing mm. his voice mm. and um, being open for mm. that what he wants to mm. say because I'm going to if 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 Chantal phones me I'm gonna immediately know it's her yes I'm not gonna yeah. wonder who's now speaking I'm mm. just hi Chantal 
and it should be the same with God's yes. voice. Yes. You should go directly, you mm. should be the one, and mm. then in the secret place, mm. I think you get to know mm. Him. Because no intimately. other voice can mm. no, no other, other voice voices can be. are there. Yes. It's only His. Yes. The secret place is a place of maturity. Yes, yes, that's true. So when I'm in the secret place, mm. you better know I'm mature yes. in mm. God. Yes. Oh, I've reached yes. a place of maturity. Yes. And that's when I come in mm. to say with what God, Pastor Garland just said. So I will now know His voice. Because yes. yes. He says, yes. my sheep knows my yes. voice. Yes. We will not want to follow any other shepherds yes. apart from Him. Because mm. there's a lot of shepherds, mm. but many of them are wolves mm. in sheep's, sheep's clothing. Yeah. There are many prophets, but many mm. of them are that's false true. prophets. Yes. And the Bible yeah. teaches us yes. about that. Yes. And that's the reason why we've got it. This is why I think this is a very profound topic, Linda, that you choose for us this last mm. couple of weeks to come back into the secret place yes. because many of us are being misled. That's true. Yes. Why am I being misled? Yeah. Because I don't know my father's mm, voice. Yes, you true. can stand in a crowd of people, but when my father speaks, you yes. better know I'm going to turn around because I yes. recognize his voice. Yeah. And the reason why we are mm. misled mm, yes. and why things are can quickly move us mm. is because I'm, I don't have a relationship That's true. with my no. father and I've never had an encounter mm. with God. Because mm. you can never be res remain the same once I've had an encounter with yes, God. True. My mm. sheep knows yes, me. Yes, they will not yeah. follow anybody yeah. else. You you know what? I can I can try to come into Pastor Karen's mm. house and try to be their, her children's mother. Yeah. They will never listen to no, me. There's yeah. no relationship with me. They don't hear my voice. Nothing that I say will make sense. She will just in, step in and say, mm. are you guys hungry? They will flood to the That's kitchen true, yeah. because they are safe. Yes. Mm. Her voice is safe. Yes. yes. That's true. And there are yeah. so many voices out yeah. there. Yeah. Yes. There are so many mm. voices and voices to mm. disrail you mm. and distract you mm. and keep you busy. Mm. That's why one of the verses that the cares of this world yes. for me right. is a very important mm. one to recognize mm. that we shouldn't live a mm. rushed life. Yes. Mm. Tell me about be it. Yeah, we are. Intentional. <laughs> in the moment yes. and be present that's true so that we are there to yeah. hear his voice yeah. because he doesn't scream mm -mm. it yeah. is in his small still mm. voice mm. and we need to be still as well be still and know mm. that i am god mm. yeah. Yeah, and it's a stillness in back. you it's a stillness yeah. and you find that stillness our time is running out and you find that stillness in the secret place yes. because it's a yes. peace yes. Yeah. No it's a peace voices. there's no other place uh, voices and while he was speaking in our family um quentin's got a whistle um <laughs> and we the kids it will be chaos all around us it will all these noises and all this and he'll just whistle and you'll see the kids running yeah. they'll be amongst hundreds of other children he'll really? whistle yeah I and like you'll see the kids coming i should have gotten a whistle <laughs> no but he's no, not a whistle whistle his own whistle he he, well, he, okay. I, he whistles yeah i, I fly yeah. Yeah, yeah he whistles then they'll come. Yeah. I've heard that. Oh, they they know, yeah, you see they that. Know that. They know their dad's, their dad's whistle calling. amongst yeah. the noise, amongst other children. Other dads can whistle, they won't react. But when Quentin whistles, they come. Yeah. Even I, even I, when the more <laughs> sometimes he whistles and then, okay, that's Quentin. But that is where we need to get to God. But that's your children's God. secret place. Exactly. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And that is, God will, we are in this world. We, we're not a part, yes. a, a part from, of it from this world. Mm. But we in this world, there's noises, there's, there's voices, rush. there's rush, opinions. there's everything. So many opinions. <laughs> but within the secret place, amongst yeah. all these noises, when he whistles, when the Father whistles or when he calls us, we will hear. Our ears should just pick up. Yes. Amen. We will hear and we will stop. In that moment, you'll stop what you are doing and you'll focus and you'll hear what the Father is saying and you'll turn around or carry on or whatever And maybe it is yes. that he's an saying. accident. You miss yeah. an accident. Yes. So, so girls, I really hope, mm. and men, if you're watching, that this has encouraged you. But I want to really just push on that button again. Take the word for yourself. Amen. Take it for yourself. Go and make it your own. Yes. So yes, be blessed and we will see you next week.